In this chapter of the course, I'm going to talk about some different tools that you can use when running online advertising campaigns. Before we talk about the tools specifically, however, I'd like to go over a few of the different methods of digital advertising just to make sure that we're all on the same page. The first method of digital advertising that we're going to cover is the basic display ads. This is when you have a banner on the top of a website or a display ad in the sidebar of, say, Facebook we're going to cover the top tools that you can use for display ads. We're also going to talk about how you can promote links to get to the top of search engines. So when you search Google and you see those links up there at the top that say sponsored or promoted, how can we accomplish that for our organization? We're going to talk about video advertising. So how can we get video ads in front of, for example, YouTube videos? And finally, we're going to talk about mobile ads. And when I say mobile ads, I don't mean somebody accessing a website on their mobile web browser. I mean when they're actually in an application or a mobile game. How can we serve them advertisements and target users that we think would be a good fit for our product or services? So these are your primary forms of digital advertising that we have online. And we're going to take a look at the top tools that we can use to run effective online advertising campaigns using these different methods of digital advertising. When it comes to display advertising, it may seem like there are a lot of networks and options to choose from. When it comes down to it, however, there are only really a few big players. So let's take a look at who those players are in the display advertising industry. First and foremost, we have the champion, Google Ads. Google Ads definitely has the highest reach in regards to the number of websites available to display ads on. Here on the Google Ads website, we could actually start treating a campaign just by clicking on the blue Start Now button, and it would start walking us through the campaign creation guide. But at the same time, we can click on this Campaigns and Tools dropdown, and you'll notice that we can see all of the different features and options that we have with Google Ads. So on the left, we can see the places where we can display ads, we can do search ads, ads on websites via display, shopping ads, video ads, ads within an app. So you have a ton of different options with Google Ads. Obviously, you can do all of your conversion tracking, and you can do your bid management and everything here in Google Ads. And then they have all of these other tools. And I think the most popular one here is the Keyword Planner. So this can help you kind of do your search engine optimization, but it can also help you determine which keywords you want to target when you're doing your advertising. That's the main goal of this tool. A lot of people use it for SEO, but it's really built for advertisers. So definitely make use of Keyword Planner, even if you're not using Google Ads, it's still helpful. You'll notice that they have a bunch of other tools in here as well. We can also go over here and we could click on this goals area and this will tell us based on our goals. So do we want to generate leads? What do we want to do? We could click on one of these goals and it will tell us how Google helps with that. Google Ads has a huge network. So if you're just getting started with paid advertising, I definitely recommend starting with Google Ads. It's one of the easiest ones to get into and it has a huge network of places for you to serve your ads to. If you're looking to branch out a little bit, however, one of the next options you might want to think about is Facebook Ads. Right now, I'm on the Facebook Ads website, and that's at facebook.com forward slash business forward slash ads. And you can read more about Facebook advertising here, but I actually want to take you over to the tool that we would use when treating Facebook ad campaigns. And that tool is called Ads Manager. So here is what Ads Manager looks like. And you'll notice that we have three tabs at the top here. The first one is the campaigns tab. Then we have the ad sets tab, and then we have the ads top. So the campaigns tab is where you set your marketing objective. Very similar to when you start advertising with Google ads, it's going to ask you what your goal is. The ads tab will deal with targeting. And as we saw earlier in the course, when we were boosting a post, Facebook has a lot of information about their users. So you can target by age, gender, interests, and a whole bunch of other things. The ads tab is where you'll actually upload your creative. So one of the benefits to advertising with Facebook ads manager is you know where your users are going to be when they see your ad, they're going to be on Facebook or Instagram or both. You can specify if you'd only like to advertise on Instagram or only on Facebook. So you know where they're going to be. And I think that that adds some value as a marketer because you can help direct where to go from there. So like I said, if you're looking to branch out from Google ads and you want to get in some different places on the internet, Facebook ads is a great next stop.
The next tool that I want to talk about is actually Microsoft Ads, formerly Bing Ads, and you can find that at ads.microsoft.com. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on this website because I'm going to show you a tool that combines the Microsoft Ads network with another network here in a minute. But essentially, Microsoft Ads are very similar to Google Ads. You can advertise in the Bing search engine, but you can also do display advertising on websites. So we'll talk a little bit more about this in a second. The next tool that I want to talk about is native advertising by Yahoo. It's at gemini.yahoo.com. Again, same idea as Google, same idea as Bing. You can advertise in Yahoo search results and you can also do display advertising. But the reason I'm not spending much time on Microsoft ads or Yahoo ads is because I want to talk about the next tab that I have open here. And that tab is called media.net. Media.net actually combines the Microsoft Advertising Network and the Yahoo Advertising Network Gemini into one network. So instead of going to Microsoft or instead of going to Yahoo, you can go straight here to Media.net. And if you scroll down a little bit on this page, you'll see some of the companies that are using Media.net. So this is a great option for the larger sized organizations that have a large advertising budget and that want to have the ads shown in a lot of different places and really through different mediums too, not just the internet, but also television and things like that. So if you're a large company with a big budget, I would definitely look into Media.net. You'll get an account manager with Media.net that will help you through the entire process. The next tool that I want to talk about is called Propeller Ads. Now, Propeller Ads is a little bit different than some of the other networks we've been talking about. They do have their own network, a display network, where you can show ads on websites. But where Propeller Ads really shines is doing more of the pop-up style ads or push notifications. They do it in a tasteful way, in a modern way, but if you're looking for ads that you can push out to more users instead of relying on them to just see it on a website and then decide to click, Propeller Ads is a great place to go. So if we scroll down this page a little bit, you'll get to a section where it shows you the different types of ads that you can display with propeller ads. So you can see we can do push ads, which will kind of pop up and block everything else on the web page so that they stand out front and center, similar to these in-page push. We have the pop under, which will actually pop behind the website or page that you're looking at. You've got these ads that are when you're going between web pages. And then you've got your direct click ads, which are just real big front and center ads. And so you can see all of the different formats of ads for propeller ads are more in your face. They're push ads. So this will give you a different type of advertising. And I think it depends on your product, but I know that there are some organizations that this type of marketing works better. And so if that's you, I think your first stop should be propeller ads, maybe Google ads a little bit, but propeller ads will help you a lot. The last solution that I want to talk about is called ad roll. Now, Admiral is similar to Google, Yahoo, Bing, in the sense that they have their own network and you do display advertising. But where Admiral really shines is when you're doing retargeting. So Admiral will actually put a pixel, a cookie on your user's computer if, say, they're on your website and they're in the shopping cart and they decide for whatever reason not to buy and may leave the website. After using AdRoll, you can then target those users on different websites by showing them advertisements of the products that they forgot to buy on your website. So Admiral helps turn abandoned carts into checkouts, bounces into buyers, and just help with overall boosting your brand awareness and building loyalty. So if you're looking to do a lot of remarketing and retargeting, maybe you've found out in some of your statistics that a lot of users are leaving in the checkout page, or they're leaving shopping carts full without purchasing them, then I definitely recommend trying out AdRoll. It's a great way to accomplish that rule of seven, where we talk about if a user sees your brand or product seven times, they're going to be much more likely to purchase it. Well, if you want them to see it seven times, AdRoll is a great way to accomplish that. So these are some of the top tools in the industry when it comes to display advertising. As I mentioned, I'd start with Google ads. And then if you're looking to branch out, or if you have more of a niche marketing objective, like something with, you know, doing push notifications or retargeting, then one of these other tools may be helpful as well.